um, and this is a question for both you guys. Uh, what is, in your experience, what is the toughest part of any new project? What is that big hurdle that you need to jump over and clear before you can say, okay, everything else after this is more or less gravy. Like it's, it's going to be a lot easier. Well, and we can start with a, you, Mike. Yeah. Well, from a, from a, from a objectively just product project execution, there are certain things like legal is always a big one. Obviously hardware. We have one of my favorite things, which is hardware cannibalism. Like you're going innovated, you have a hundred units and then, Oh, I need this for a trade show. Oh, I need to demo. Oh, I want to give this friend of the president a unit. Next thing you know, you have four units and then it's going down and uh, shipping and management of that also becomes uh, a challenge as well. Um, you know, those kinds of things, there's a lot of steps. Uh, and then, uh, last, you know, all of those little things that take to get you to start the project. Those are just things that we encounter almost on every test. We say, oh yeah, we're going to need an NDA. And then all of a sudden the NDA goes, uh, we're, we're like, uh Oh, what's going on? Let me, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> just letting, you know, letting you know someone's out there. Yeah. Someone violated yeah. the NDA. <laughs> Somebody filed the NDA, like my West Highland Terrier going barking. Yeah. But, uh, and from a from a, a standpoint of like the bigger hurdles that come into play are is development, which is just that the whole existence of creating a product. I don't know how many projects have slipped. I like to joke with every client who tells me that a project slipped that it's the first time I've ever seen it happen because it literally happens every single project because you get there and then all of a sudden, oh, there's one more thing we have to fix. Feature creep things like that. So those are the other hurdles you have to encounter. And so having what we call uh, test viability, which means a product that's ready for customers to uh, use is a critical thing. And um, finding that viable window where it's ready to go, that's a big hurdle that a lot of clients encounter before they get started because, you know, drawing a line in the sand is sometimes very difficult, especially when it's something that's important to you and you don't want to go out with a bug that everybody knows exists, but at the same time, you don't want to hold up the testing. That's a big hurdle that a lot of our clients encounter. Uh, all of them. Definitely. And I'll give my, I'll give a, a slightly different approach because Mike covers all the, this is what you, you're you going to run into on a test, especially if you're not planning for it. I think one big hurdle that people are going to run into is, is challenging the fact that, that their beta is what they're going to get. So they've run a beta before, and this is just, this is beta. This is what they're going to do. They're using email. They're using spreadsheets. They get a little bit of survey responses. They get a, a few users in there. Um, I'd say that the the challenge there is that it's that's not all that there is. There could be something so much better in your beta. It's just you're not challenging whether or not it should be any better. Uh, beta generates work you find issues you find things you need to improve on and a lot of times if you're in a, a weird space where you're not looking for more work you could just be okay with the status quo and just saying you know i'm just going to let this beta slide i'm not really going to invest the time or effort into it and that's going to generate all kinds of problems for you in the product so it might make your beta easy but it's not going to make your life any easier you're going to launch the product and you're going to have support you're going to have people returning products, you're going to get negative reviews, and that's going to cause way more of a headache. And future you is going to hate you for not thinking about how you could have knocked over these hurdles and put a little more effort in early. It's that ounce of prevention that can happen. And this is beta's that one step. It's your first launch right before you go out the door. So if you can nail this and do well, your future self will love you. And so will the rest of your company.